the objective for today, the artifact of the crag. It is located right here at this entrance of exactly 28.1, 29.1. Not far from the blue obelisk right there. So what's the team looking like today? We've got the filer. He's rocking an apprentice saddle with 53. And he's got 7k health, but maximum of 8k. I should probably heal him. And the Mantis, we've got Apprentice Swords, the German Mantis Saddle, which is 67, and then 4k health on them. And in terms of gear, the main things, we've got some grapples, shotgun, medical bruise, cactus broth, lesser antidote. Simple stuff. So, let's not waste your time, let's get straight into it. Uh, get you to follow, thank you. So we're going to rock with the Mantis, the Filer's kind of here just to tank, the Mantis is our damage dealer. So we're going to follow this cave down. Now in this cave we are going to come across some Megalosauruses. Possibly. Well, most likely. More than possibly. How can you not fit through there, sir? Are you okay? No. We're not okay, are we? One second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Turn around. There we go. Uh, yeah, so most likely we're going to come across some Megalosauruses. We're going to come across Dire Wolves and Sabres, as well as your normal Cave Critters. Also, obviously in Scorched Earth, we've got Mantis as well now, Vultures, and the worst of all, a Rubble Golem, which is a rare encounter, but is possible. And if you come across one of those, we are just going to run for our lives, okay? I'm not even going to pretend to fight it. So we're just basically just going to follow this down. Until we get to this area here. Now this cave can get quite confusing. Because it kind of loops around on itself a fair few times. And holy crap the FPS drop is crazy. Jesus. I'm sorry if it's a bit framey down here. So as you can see everything's now aggroing to us. Because the aggro range is apparently 10 mile. We're just going to fight our way through. All we're going to do is we're going to actually get across to that other side. Let's just get rid of this Mantis. Might have to jump both of them across. Obviously the Mantis, we just use the Mantis' as leap. I don't know if a Phyla will be able to get up here on its own. No, I'm going to have to help out. Come here, Phyla. There we go. Yeah, so obviously you have to make that jump, so if you're going to bring creatures that aren't these two, then make sure they can make the jump, please. Alright, now we've got three options. We go around the left, up that middle path right there, or we go around the right. I'm going to go around the right, just because it's a little bit easier to follow at that point. Now, there is a chance that a Megalosaurus will spawn, like, right there, by that middle entrance. Seems like we've got lucky this time. I'm actually going to wander on down. I'm not farther behind. I said, they do end up actually coming all the same way. So that middle path literally comes down here. And then the left path comes out just there. And it's up to you. You can either jump across or just jump down. I am going to jump across just to see what's over there. So they're jumping down into the pit. Let's clear all these out. Is that all filer? No, it's the same tooth. What's that? So, what I'm going to show you real quick is obviously. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Oh, okay. You can actually collect this salt here. Sorry, Mantis, didn't mean to hit you there. And then you can also. The so Mantis wants to get out of the way for a second. You can also collect these. Uh, I think they sometimes give you rare flowers, but I don't think. Okay, our father's fine somewhere. Going back that way. Hey, come this way. Alright, Fyla, stop going on your own errands, please. Alright, so we're going to follow down this way. you got Sulfur Rocks as well, in case you want to get them. Mantis here. Basically, going to follow it around this corner. And here's one of the open areas where you're going to have a lot of creatures spawn in. Even babies, apparently. I've got to murder babies now, have I? 
I said, the fire should be able to tank a lot of it. But you're going to have to help it out a little bit. Obviously, you can come in here with probably like mate boosted mantises or something along those lines. But I like the combination of both. So here we are, first area. And there is an explorer right behind us inside this chest cavity of a dinosaur. Alright, so once we once you get this uh explorer out, we have obviously a choice of where to go. Now you can go right, but we are gonna go left. I believe if you go right, you are gonna go to a dead end. So but there is uh loot drop possibilities down there. I'm gonna head down this way. What are these blue flowers? These are really cool. Do you have anything unique? Nope. Oh, okay. Just checking. You're still with us? Yep, cool. So we're going to come out here. The place which looks really nice. Now hopefully, all we're going to do now is if you did take the right path, you do end up over there. We have to go across the water. It's not too bad, but I would avoid the water because sometimes rubble golems can actually spawn under the water. So I'd try to avoid it at all costs. So we're going to go left around here now and the artifact is actually not too far we're almost there you have to jump down here build does run off there's another reason why fire is good just in case you do end up getting stuck and head on down head on down so behind us i can't hear you for let see if i'm worried about you I'm worried about your little mates right, there are a lot of creatures waiting for us here Okay, file, well, let's try it off each other, shall we? Right, it's all the way through here. Obviously, if you want snails and stuff, you can get some snails while you're in here. Right, so just try, take it bit by bit. Because obviously, the creatures can spawn quite high leveled. I'm going to war with them all. All at the same time is a bad idea. Now, if you can just see over there, I'll zoom in on the edit for you. That is our artifact just over yonder looking like a red drop. That's what we're going for. So I'm just going to have a quick look. I can't see any rubble golem rocks. So I think we are okay, he says. And he's going to jump down there. Oh, actually, there's a megalosaurus right there. Holy Christ. How did I not see that? Okay, right, it's daytime, so we should be fine. Oh, and our swords on our mantis are broke. That was a bad idea. Probably should have brought a spare pair. That's okay. We still do plenty of damage. Yeah, so if you didn't know, if you obviously you can put swords on the mantis. The more damage the swords have, the more damage the mantis will do. So that's a good thing to remember. So if you're going to get some really good uh, sword blueprints, then definitely attach them to your mantis when you're doing caves. Let's have a look at this loot drop while we're here. Wow, that is incredible. I don't know what, I don't know. I feel like Scorched Earth's loot drops are a little bit worse than the islands were. I don't know if they nerfed them. But a red drop and I get a magnifying glass. And what else did I get? Cooked fish meat. Can you put a sickle? Why? Oh, you can put a sickle on them. Hey, hey. Use that instead. There's a Megalania in front of us. I'm just going to drop some stuff, make sure I didn't drop those swords, so I'll want them later. I've just dropped them, that's fine. I'll get a new pair. Alright, you're still following. Alright, Megalonius, get rid of you. There we go. And we are here at the artifact. Just a couple more. Hopefully, rocks are looking okay. Nothing too worrying. Our first Aranio as well. I mean, I've not seen an Aranio or really any snakes or anything so far which is quite surprising let's keep watching the health make sure everything's a okay lovely so we are the artifact of the crag we are here i'm gonna there's something in the walls uh i'm gonna quickly Skip the video because I'm just going to take some screenshots for the thumbnail while we're here. So give me one moment, please. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. So I'm taking my screenshots now for the thumbnail. 
And we're gonna grab it. And obviously you also get the torch, the scorched torch skin. That's hard to say. But that will disappear. Obviously we don't have uh, otters on scorched earth, so you're gonna have to run the caves a few times, unfortunately, unless you bring some friends. Well, let's get out of here. Now we've got to take a different way back, obviously, because of that jump. Obviously we could try go back up. But if you have not brought a creature that can jump, then you're going to have to go around the other way. So let's just go around to the left here. Are you with me, mates? Thank you. Keep her going around. I'm very happy that we did not run into a rubble golem. Now, the thing is, with Scorched Earth Caves, they're a bit different to the island caves. Where creatures will actually spawn back in by the time you grab the artifact and come back out. Now, sometimes there'll be loads of them. Sometimes they've not had enough time to spawn, so there'll be just a few of them. Uh, so because, obviously, that jump isn't possible to go back up, obviously, you can use the filer. But our Mantis won't. We're going to just shoot straight across there. Straight through the wire. Like so. And we can just swim that bit there. Behind me. Cool. Here's some critters already. So basically it's going to go back the way we came. Obviously we've just got to come from this different side. Just follow it up here. So with me, Father. And we're going to go left. Right, so these will give you rare flowers, but I think you have to use a sickle for it. Come on then. And as you see, if you see that scorpion there, they have started to spawn back in again now. So it's obviously clear where you're back here, the dire wolves. You can really be careful because you can get a large pack of dire wolves sometimes. And obviously, dire wolves pack bonus, not very nice. Let's just keep following. Now we're going to go through this middle bit. Have everything jumping down on top of us now. That's fine. Nothing we can't handle. Okay, come on there. Finally, you're going to have to. Thank you. Follow us all the way up. Through the hole. Still with me? No, nope, someone's fighting you. Through the hole, and we are nearly out now. Now, I believe I could be... Oh, God. It's murdered an Akatina for no reason. I believe there might be silica pills in this cave. I've not actually looked. Well, I'll, I'll do a look after. Alright, so let's come across here. Jump back across. Collect your filer, but it decides to stay and go for a swim. Yeah, so there are actually silica pills. Oh god, are they? Oh, it's a tree. I was scared of a tree. There are actually silica pills. I did just see some then. I believe a drop can spawn there as well. Quickly, let's go prove silica pills real. There you go. Silica's right down here, but like I said, be careful because the rubble golems can spawn underwater. I'd rather not fight one of them. Can I grab the silica pills or are they just invisible? There you go. Grab some silica pills just to prove it. That's another silica pill location if um, you can't get to any other ones. If you are wondering about silica pills, I do have a separate video. Other channel you can go and check out to show you some of the big silica pill locations. So frames are dropping again for some reason. But we're just going to follow our way back out and we will be out of the cave in a jiffy. There you go. That is the artifact of the crag in the grave of the tyrant's cave up by Blue Obelisk. And there we go. So if you want to see any other cave videos then just check out the channel because i'll have the other two caves posted at the same time this one gets posted